put these windows up, Lena. We'll try up the ways first. This is um. Sorry, the quail centers up. We'll call it quail. I don't know. There's a sign over there. There's the name of the river. I can ask you remember to think of shit. That's the name there. We are here. And it's a wildlife place up above. I think it's all birds. Look, Luna's interested already. We would best go down the ways first, Luna. It's more of a boardwalk. That's more of a pondy. See the marshy ground over there, like. But, uh, We'll try down the ways first. I was going to go up the ways, but we'll try down the ways. There's just down the wee boardwalk there. Now, there's two or three car parks along here. So that's straight up as a dump car park. So if you're looking for these boardwalks, just look for the car parks. There's a wee counter there. I don't think this counter is counting me, but it's not counting the people coming from the car park. I don't know. See, not every dog can walk out there, you know. That's uh, the they can use for boats. Have you behaved yourself now, Luna? Deep water and all that there. I'll chuck you in, you, don't, you must behave. I wasn't expecting, I thought it was, I was expecting wood, didn't I? Oh, it's just a place for boats, is it? It's just a... Oh, I thought you could walk along the river. Well, I'm disappointed already. I'm going to give up, I'm not walking down along the main road. So we'll go up to the quail centre and go on further down, there's walks along the river. I'm not walking no main road here. We heard in the lead, she just my head on. You want to do a bit of bird watching? You like to watch but not chase. Luna loves bird watching. Doesn't matter if it's a wee common goal, she likes watching all birds. Look at the excitement there now. This could do her the world of good, you know. I don't know what she's looking at there, because I don't see many birds. A few feathers floating down, that's all I see. I'll look Google Maps and see if it's far down to this river walk. I'm not walking the main road. I'm not going to Google Maps, it doesn't show a big lot. Uh, it's mostly along the road. The only bit that haunts further down is the bit that I've walked before, a wee wall. And there's a car park at it. I'm not going to walk along the main road. I drive down to the car park. But that's all about up the ways. I've never been up the ways. Uh, was that the, the centre one time? It's closed. No, no, I'm on this way, Pat. Hi then. No, no, we're going to go up the ways. You need to keep your dog on the lead. You don't, you know? You do. You don't. You, do. you, don't, uh, you know what you want to do? You know Narn Arm Direct website? Yeah. You know you go your MOT and all that? Uh -huh. If you go on the Narn Arm web, web, Direct website and you check on the dog control, dogs do not have to go on a lead. I'll tell you what they do you have to go on a lead. See if you're in a pedestrianised zone on a yeah. town centre. Doesn't, doesn't matter if there's any signs. If you've got the wee brick pavement and all the furniture, they have to be in leads there. Anywhere else, they don't unless there's a sign to say so. It's a bit like parking, if you want to park a car, if yeah. there's no double yellow lines and no parking sign, you park the car. Yeah, that's what I'm saying is, I was attacked by a dog down here. I ran up to there, I was off a lead, I was up to there on me. And lots of people got attacked with dogs, and lots of people are safe yeah, with dogs. I think it's irresponsible, everybody, anybody should have, not have a lead on their dog. No, but it's not a legal requirement to have a dog. It should be, yeah. it should be. If somebody bites you, you'll know all about it. Ah, but lots of people get attacked with knives. What well, can you do about matter. it? It doesn't matter. You know, it's not to say I'll never be attacked by a dog. But the fact is, you know, people get killed with cars. Doesn't matter. You know, I'll give you a subject. Your dog. People get killed with cars and injured with cars. You drive a car. Yeah. You travel in a car. Yeah. Well, people get hurt with cars. It's irresponsible not to have your mutt on a lead. Lead up, on, Ali. That's me, girl. I'll head back this way now, honey. Then up. Oh, I'll stick up from the guard. I think I handled that pretty well, though, you know. 
I, I, I'm not always losing my head when people come out for that, you know. So I'm nearly a bit of practice. I looked up the website, found out a few rides. Oh, right. Look at the size of that house up there, boys. That must be the boy who owned the harbour. That's his big house. There's money on boats, sort of. Look at that. I'm not helping myself run my head. You know, I was saying a dog attacked him once. Well, it's boring to me. I used to be terrified as a wing going country roads. Because I farm dogs then were never tied up or nothing. They used to come out barking at you. And they would have bit you, them farm dogs. I was terrified. So what I did, I didn't walk the road. And you might say I have the right to walk the road. But if I know there's a dog that's going to go for me, I'm not going to walk the road. Same when you're cycling. But nor would I walk down a, a city centre. One o'clock in the morning and there's a pile of drunks. I wouldn't do that either. It's not to say I don't have the right to do it, but you know there's a good chance you might get a point or something at that time of day. There's lots of things we have to avoid. So I'm saying to that man there, there's far more wings and adults and all injured and by roads. But because they use them, that man uses a road, he doesn't want that bad. He doesn't have a dog. I'll oh, put dogs in leads. It's going to have to get over his fears. Like, Luna does not help herself. Look how nosy she is. See, here's that door handle over there. Her ears is up. She does not help herself. But she didn't bark or nothing at that man. Call you a mutt, Luna. I called you a mutt. 